So, here you go. I moved into one of my other rooms. Just give me more room space, basically. But yeah, so uh, here we are. It's all out now. It's all out ready to take the bow fan. And uh, it's not too bad. But while I'm doing this vid, I'll actually show you how to mark up for your... Uh, to put your nut certs in so I, I've already marked two here as you can see that's the two markings that I've got that's a bit better like there so you can see I've got to put a hole here and a hole here basically this is a nut cert this is what you call a nut cert these were the ones put in by the factory so basically I've marked out where the battery is going to be the battery hanger is going to be and uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it up because I've got another part to fit and on a sec I'll just grab it and show you so basically this protects the battery from water damage on a ride and basically the battery I know we'll come to the tip of the M and so what I have to do is that part there where my thumb is will have to go just there like that so basically I'm going to mark that out how that's going to be done because I don't think the other half would appreciate me drilling holes in the living room so I'm going to mark everything up and basically take it down to my shed and drill everything that I need to drill I'll also what I'll try and do is when I put the bow fang in in a minute I'll flip the bike upside down so you can see how the bow fang goes in there and uh, yeah so we'll go from there really just hang with me so basically you just need a few bits of kit really just a decent measure obviously a marker and what I'm doing because I'm using a black frame obviously nine times out of ten you can't see what you're actually marking with so I've got the good old nail to scratch where I need to drill my drill marks but yeah basically the way this bracket works for me is that's the top and this is the bottom no sorry I got that wrong that's the top that's the bottom so I know where the mongoose goes through here that the top of the N is where the battery will go so I need to go just above it which will be that ends there so I need to be at that point so it's quite straightforward really you got a two you got you have got a choice you can do it by eye look down the frame from the top which is what I'm doing now obviously I'm out of shot so you can't see me doing that but basically I, I am dead happy with it right there right where it is so I use the marker to mark my hose. I'll just double check, double check everything before you do anything. I'm going to put one in the back right there, and I'm going to put one in the mid. So it's going to go there. Now that is how simple it is. It's really simple to do these markings. So now I'm going to get me tape and just check across like I said this is quite hard to read but yeah that's pretty much bang on there pretty happy with that one and look at that that's bang on too now that don't happen very often that you can get them bang on like that but yeah so basically I need a hole there right where that is so I'm just going to scratch myself across 
I mean, with this, if you bugger it up, it doesn't matter that much because once the plate's on, you wouldn't see it anyway. You wouldn't see any wrong markings. So there you go. That's, this is basically just how I do it. You know, you might have a better way of doing it or whatever. But yeah. And then I've got to mark out where I'm going to be coming out with all my wiring. Because I'm going to do like I did with the other bikes. I'm actually going to put all my wire in it in the frame. So basically the wiring is going to come out of here. This point. I did think about there but I don't know. I think I'm going to come out just here. And I'm going to go in at some point up here. Anyway, let's slot the bow fang in and uh, I'll show you what that's like. Now for this build, I've had to use two, two mil spacers, so four mil spacers in there. And as you see, she slots straight in, and she's perfect like that, with those spacers in. So quite happy with that. As you can see, fits in there quite nice. And my chain line looks like, let me start, hang on one sec. I just grab this sprocket that I've got made up. So you can see, so that's good. Oh yeah, I've got to space that out just a little bit on there. Right, so uh, as you can see, I can use a 38 tooth, but no bigger. Don't know where the shot gets it quite good. But yeah. So I can't use any bigger. So it'll have to be spaced out a little bit. But yeah, quite happy with that. That I can use a 38. I thought I was going to have to go down to a 36 on it. So I'm really quite happy. Let's just see if I can get the line. So you can see the chain line. Which is pretty much exactly how it was on the bike before I took it off I don't know where it's coming out very good on this video but basically it's a perfect chain line for me and as you can see if I look down on the bike you can see you've got this one out a fair away for the main crank but this one the main crank arm would hit that but I've got that special piece to go on there so uh, it should do the trick anyway that's it for now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna cut all my bits I've got oh also I've got to put a hole in my framework here for all my wiring to go into I did think I could put it in the top and then I thought nah I don't really want wires on show so I'd rather find a little place up in here and also I'll make a bracket if I get round the other side I'll make my own bracket as you can see this is the bits I was on about as well how they are in line with this now but yeah and how it steps over the frame i don't know where you can quite see that but normally this motor doesn't the motor one with the old system it would be like that it would be that far up and now it's allowing you to bring the motor really close so yeah so i'm all happy with it at the minute but yeah if you look under there that actual hole for the cable is there and I'm not using that for nothing. So I might just widen that out and take the cable straight in there. 
and I do believe I've got one on the side of the frame that I'm not actually using for anything so I may even bring the cable straight out of that just to save messing around and also I always seal them up as well water tight them so no water can get in and all the drilling I do all the drilling way before I fit the bow fang because that way you can I can angle the frame so this is at the bottom when I'm drilling so all the metal filings and everything all comes out because you don't want that hanging about in your frame but yeah so all all being well it should go well hopefully anyway I'm gonna mark this other piece up here let's see where I'm gonna go because I'm gonna put my own bracket which will come off of this bolt it's a shame really that didn't drop down a little bit more if it dropped down a little bit more I would have probably just put a nut straight in there a nut search straight in the side of the frame and it would have just bolted to the framework save mess ass and about but there you go all fun and games isn't it but uh yeah so the build's coming on quite nice really anyway i'll catch you again in the next one stay safe out there get out and ride